In other news, a murder suspect is spending his first full day in jail. Just hours ago, that man appeared before a judge. Tonight, Crem 2's Amanda Rowley is reporting on the newly filed court documents describing what led deputies to the suspect in that Red Top Motel murder this weekend. Amanda? Spokane County Court documents say investigators identified Michael Perry as the suspect by using Red Top Motel surveillance video, past booking photos, and confirmation from employees at the Trent Shelter. A body found in a room at the Spokane Valley Red Top Motel Saturday prompted a large police presence. Spokane County deputies and major crimes detectives closed off the property to preserve the scene over the weekend. Now, newly filed court documents describe how investigators made their arrest. Documents say a witness staying at the Red Top Motel told investigators the morning the body was found, they heard arguing two doors down. Two hours later, the witness went into room 115 with a motel employee. That's when they found a dead man's body in the shower with the water still running. Court documents say the victim suffered multiple stab wounds to the neck, arm and torso. The motel employee told investigators he checked on the tenants of room 115 four days prior because they hadn't checked out yet. He said a bearded man told him they wanted to stay longer, but just needed the money. Investigators also showed Trent shelter employees photos of the suspect from the motel surveillance video. They recognized the suspect as Michael Perry and confirmed he had a bed at the shelter. Spokane County Court documents say on the same day the body of the victim was found at the motel, a witness here at Feltz Field noticed smoke coming from near the riverbank. He later reported to police when he reached the source of that smoke, he found a man burning all the clothes he had on him and said his name was Michael. That witness said he gave the suspect some clothes and a ride back to the Trent shelter. And that's where a detective found the suspect. Her documents say Perry had blood in his hair, his hands were swollen, and had cuts on his hands and body. Perry also had a knife in his possession. Now, in court today, Perry did not enter a plea. He is, however, remaining in Spokane County Jail with a $1 million bond. Now, at this time, we are still waiting on the Spokane County Medical Examiner to identify that victim. Reporting from the Spokane County Courthouse, Amanda Rowley, Crime 2 News.